Gently nudged by tugboats in the choppy waters, the nuclear-powered submarine made its way to Pier 23. Families who braved the chilly and brisk winds for the vessel's homecoming waited along with the Atlantic Fleet Band aboard the submarine tender Emory S. Land until the USS Memphis was in plain sight. She pulled out last September and since that time has operated as a unit of both the Pacific and Atlantic fleets. Once she was secured at Pier Side, eager relatives and friends who just couldn't wait any longer rushed to the gangplank to welcome their loved ones home. A short ceremony followed in which the commander of the Atlantic Fleet Submarine Force, Vice Admiral Stephen White, presented awards to members of the crew. The return of the Memphis marks the end of a half-year journey with few port calls, but one highlight was a stop in Australia. Probably the best one was in Perth, Australia, and uh, the hospitality of the people there was really super and the crew enjoyed it. Um, it's a long time between visits. We did visit Diego Garcia also, and the tropical atmosphere and the athletics and so forth are unique to most of us. We're not used to that. And we took advantage of that and enjoyed it too. Despite the gusty March winds meeting the USS Memphis upon its return to the Norfolk Naval Base, the men received a huge welcome from families and friends, and they looked as though they were happy to be home. Ava Hurdle, Area Tonight Witness News at the Norfolk Naval Base.